Oh my gosh, guys, my tiny little brain has been inundated with so much information today. I can't even process all this. But uh, we are on, a, on, a, on December 14th. We are getting a Europe pack. Now, a lot of you guys called this. Um, a lot of people were thinking it was going to be a Europe pack, especially yesterday after the, the story time with uh, Tim and Ellerton. That was, uh, can I just say, that was one of the most awesome bit of marketing that I think we've got from Planet Zoo, Frontier, um, in a long, long time. And I think it's just... It just coincides with them finally being back in the office together. Because remember, I believe it was yesterday, um, Eltonen said that they were all back in the office for the first time. Like, all together yesterday, since the start of the pandemic. So, look what they're capable of, and look how engaging and how fun that whole process was. Even if it was just like a marketing scheme like a marketing, you know, live stream to kind of get us together and get us uh, get us hyped for update 1.8. That was so freaking cool just to have them back together and um, just kind of be able to consume content like that again. And if that are the, is the way things are going, I am really, really excited for it. This, this Europe DLC has such an awesome buzz around it i think you guys will agree but don't forget to like the don't forget to like the video and smash the like button down below for me if you end up enjoying this video and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more planet zoo content but anyways let's just dive right in we'll take our time let's read through you know frontier they like to spread out different little announcements across all of their channels so first we'll go to the forums then we'll make our way over to Steam. It seems like eh, all of them kind of have a, a little bit different wording and some interesting little tidbits uh, we can hit on. But L. Tenen starts out with, Hey, oh, zookeepers, pack your warmest coat as you get ready to discover the charms of Europe. Travel, travel across alpine mountaintops and through dense forests in a European winter tale like no other with the latest planet zoo pack and you know i'm kind of like bold on this one was not interested at all probably would not be very very interested if it was only an animal pack but they are bringing the heat with this one they are packing a punch the europe pack will not just be animals <laughs> we're thrilled to announce that the planet zoo europe pack will be available to buy on December 14th, 2021, releasing alongside free update 1.8. Excited to find out which wonderful animals you'll be meeting in this pack? Look no further. And this is another cool thing too. They're not staggering out the animal reveals. I thought that was really, really cool. They just blasted us. They come out right and said, that you're getting this, 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 and this. Cause you know, sometimes like they'll, I guess particularly with the animal packs, they'll like tease the animals and it's like a long drawn out six day, you know, social media thing. But this time they just went ahead and told us. And I, I'm, I kind of like that. Just let, just tell us what's going on. Look no further. We'll be introducing you to the Eurasian Lynx the Alpine Ibex, the European Badger, the European Fallow Deer, and a hot new exhibit animal, the Fire Salamander, all of which have their own requirements and challenges as you incorporate them into your zoos. Plus, you'll get to see the European Badger resting in its burrows. We can't wait to see what kind of incredible habitats you'll create for these new additions. All of the avid builders out there Stan, are in for a real treat too. Well, I don't know if I'm an avid builder, but I am a builder. Are in for a real treat too. The addition of over 250 new scenery pieces inspired by various European countries and cultures. This freaking has me excited. You'll discover pieces influenced by Italy, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Switzerland, as well as winter-themed scenery that will leave your zoo feeling super cozy. You know we are all about the super cozy vibes here. Plus, you'll notice lots of water and bridge theming throughout the new pieces, as well as new foliage. And, you know, we couldn't have the Netherlands without some sort of bridge, water, canal-type theme pieces. We don't even know. Looks like we got, like, a little makeshift drawbridge. So I am really, really excited about anything they mention about the Netherlands. Peaks my 
interests. You'll also be able to challenge yourself with a brand new time scenario set in the foothills of an imposing alpine mountain. The zoo has three distinctly themed areas inspired by Italy, France, and Switzerland, which you'll need to successfully build across to complete the challenge. We're sure you can handle this, zookeepers. Um, let's see. Let's talk about pricing here as I grab my drink. Um, nice. Ten bucks. Looks like we got ten bucks. The Planet Zoo Europe pack will be available for purchase for £7.99. £9.99 USD on Steam from 14th of December. Want to be notified when the game is available? You can head over to Steam to wishlist it right now. Please remember, as always, guys, we're not talking about 1.8 now. We're talking about the actual paid DLC. You have to own Planet Zoo uh, to be able to enjoy the Europe pack. Uh, and then they said, let us know. And of course, you guys can let me know what animal or scenery are you particularly excited about with the Europe pack. I am pretty, pretty hyped. Jumping over to Steam, they, uh, they, they've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a different description. They go in a little more, a little more in depth. Experience the beauty of Europe with the Planet Zoo Europe pack, featuring five highly requested new animals. The, uh, like we said before, the Ibix, the Eurasian Lynx, the Fallow Deer, the European Badger, and Fire Salamander. These stunning European species will be will bring wonder and delight to your zoo. Expand with over 250 eye-catching new scenario pieces and challenge your zoo, zookeeper skills with the exciting new scenario uh, set around the majestic Alpine Mountain. And then they said um, they make these animals make ideal, make for a total of four habitat animals and one exhibit animal, construct ideal homes and fulfill their daily needs. And these European natives will love their new surroundings. Enjoy watching European badgers resting underground as they shelter from the element and give your guests a rare view of them by setting up subterranean cameras to cast onto billboards. In addition, the European pack comes with three new enrichment items to keep your animals entertained. The Alpine Ibex could use the goat climbing mountains clustered boulders. Bold told me that earlier today to display their nimble traversal skills. European fallow deer and Alpine Ibex can also enjoy meals from scarecrow feeders and the Eurasian lynx and, Euro and European badgers can use the rough surfaces of rubbing pad bark to scratch their itches. Uh, existing animals can also make use of these items. Uh, 250 plus bold new scenery pieces. Build and decorate using fresh creative options inspired by picturesque European locations, including iconic cities such as Venice and Amsterdam. Erect in, <laughs> erect, giggity. Or ornate bridges over shimmering bodies of water. Add native foliage, including London plane tree, Core oak, cork oak and grapevine and set up new medieval themed animal signs. You can even ring in the holiday season with sparkling fairy lights and decorations. Make your very own festive village or winter market. And then they finish up uh, Alpi Al's Pine Zoo's owners want you to introduce as many species as possible before the holiday season. Are you up to the challenge? Try this festive new time scenario and put your management skills to the test. Set at the snowy foothills of a towering mountain. And that all sounds really, really awesome. Coming off the heels of the uh, Planet Zoo um, North America pack, which a lot of you guys dug. A lot of you guys really, really enjoyed that. Um, but as far as you guys know, I... Am, uh, in tip, am typically a scenery nerd, so when I see that the animal packs are coming out, I'm just always kind of like, me, not S. Dan's particular cup of tea, or in this case, a particular cup of Sprite with ice cubes in it. Drinking out of a glass from Halloween. Um, not my cup of, not my cup of Sprite with ice cubes from Halloween. I am more so a theme entertainment builder. Like I love the little animals and stuff. Don't get me wrong, that's that's why we play the game. It's an animal game. But for S. Dan personally, what brings me the most enjoyment out of the game is theming for you guys. What kind of building pieces can we put together? What kind of immersive stories can we tell to bring you in 
to this, you know, bring you into the animals in the animal world and, and kind of, you know, um, it's all about the storytelling for me and the backstory and, and why is this the way it is? And um, I could not be more pumped again for some new scenery. Remember, a lot of us were like, is it is it going to happen? Is scenery a thing now anymore? Are they basically going to flesh out the animals? Um, you know, we really just didn't know. I mean, look at the look at the concept art. We've got a freaking food truck that looks like it's coming. Um, I am pumped. I am fully on board with this and I cannot wait to get our hands on it. You know, the cool thing is this is not something we're talking about like, you know, two months from now. We're talking about next Tuesday. We will have our hands on this next Tuesday. So that is, uh, this This is just a very interesting pack to me. And, and I'm like I said earlier, I'm kind of like bold. Um, the Euro, if it was a Europe animal pack, probably wouldn't do it for me. Um, I think they probably knew it wouldn't do it for a lot of people. They knew they had to add some scenery items in with this. And uh, it looks like they are not going to disappoint. So S. Dan is absolutely here for it. And uh, yep, yeah, I will be covering this as more news becomes available. So definitely don't forget to um, subscribe and keep up with all of this mischief going on. Um, go check out Bold's video. She put out a really good one earlier. Of course, Leaf, Simply Savannah, Beyond Drew, that nerd, um, just streamed a little bit right before I got home, kind of talking about what's coming. And you know, it's still early too. This is only Tuesday, so we have all the rest of this week and Monday for more information, maybe more videos, more teasing. Um, I'm sure they'll put out some more restaurant pictures. Uh, so we've got that look, we've got that to look forward to too. So anyways, guys, as always, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'm S. Dan Wolf. Don't forget to smash the like button if you end up enjoying this video. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know if you're hyped for the Europe pack down below. Thank you guys. Bye.